Good morning, everyone. Morning. So, I just got a whole bunch of stuff yesterday. All of my pre-spent birthday money, everything shipped and all came on the same day, which is so exciting. So I will put a picture in right here of everything that I got. Today though, I am doing a split cup Dutch pour and my canvas is 12 by 16. Um, I've been watching Harmony House. I love her. She is a fabulous artist. And she does these split cup Dutch pours and they're beautiful and it's such a great idea. So I am going to try that today. And uh, she's been my inspiration. So check her out. I will link her channel down below in the description. All right, so let's do this. So my colors are Deco Art Rose Gold, Deco Art Berry, with a little bit of Liquitex Basics Iridescent Medium. And I also have Artist Loft Aqua Green, one of my favorite colors. And one of the new colors that I got, Hebio's uh, the Iridescent Blue Black. Blue Black, Black Blue, Blue Black. I love the color shift colors. Like they're just amazing. One of the things I got for my birthday or that I bought for my birthday was another set of my Shuttle Art uh, color change paints. So, um, and this is my Montmartre uh, Lamp Black. So it'll be my base. I debated on whether or not what color I should use for my base, but I wanna see how the blue black turns out as a Dutch pour over top of black. And I like to just see, I always think that the colors are gonna get lost in the black, but it always ends up surprising me in a good way. So here we go. I'm only gonna fill the cup halfway because my canvas isn't all that big. Um, I don't need, it's a six ounce cup. I would need six ounces to cover the entire canvas, but because I'm doing a Dutch pour, I really only need about halfway. Okay, there's my cup. Let's get the base down. Okay, it's all down here. Give her a little torch. All right, I'm excited. Nervous, but excited. I think my rose gold has taken over. Well, let's just have a look at this. Ooh. Very cool. Very, very cool. Okay, let's see. Through the fields of our parts, feelings got away. Love it. 
All right, I'm gonna give it a little torch here. Of course, the only spot I'm not super happy about is this center part here, this big patch of rose gold. Kind of this whole spot right here. Huh. Put some more uh, aqua green and blue black. Much better. I like that much, much better. And the rose gold cells are coming through, even through this black part here. Um, and I love, I love that there's just that little bit more of aqua green. Yeah, and I like the composition. It's running very much this way, which I really like. And I can see, I was worried that the blue-black had disappeared, but there's some all in here now from that second pour I did. And I can see it over here and up here, so. And down here. Once it dries, we're de definitely, definitely going to see that. So I will bring you in for a close up. Okay, here's the close up. Oh, there's the blue black. I love that I can see it through my camera. the multicolored cells. Yeah, that rose gold is coming through that black, which I sort of figured it, it would. The deco art, when I mix it with just water, um, tends to take over and I was worried about that but it's turning out actually pretty good. Love that pop of aqua green there. Ooh, what happened with my voice there? <laughs> yeah this is gonna be pretty once it dries. Very pretty. I'm glad I kind of stepped out of my comfort zone and just went with my intuition on colors. I wasn't really sure which ones to try. So, and I had some I needed to use up, but yeah. Love the multicolored. So take care everybody. Have a great day and have a great week. And let's get out of this pandemic. Stay safe everybody.